Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue to talk about the staircases especially we will talk today about the handrail. So we will start from the simple handrail, how to place your handrail to the, your staircase, how you place uh, for example to for the custom one, how to create kind of uh, this handrail and after that we will talk about the more complicated handrail as you can see the uh, rounded one uh, you can see here there is the supporting one and you will see here for example for the disabled people uh, but the last one the uh, it will be a more um, complicated one it will be handrail for the wall how to create it we will do it in right now i think in three tutorials about the handrail so if you are interested to know everything about the handrail everything about the supports and how to place it so join my lesson and after three lesson you will know about the handrail everything first let's create our stair I'm creating the my staircase here and by here and I'll say okay if I will go to 3d you can see this my staircase with my handrail this handrail is created automatically we can change this this is handrail you just should uh, select your railings after that, go to the edit type and change to the other type what you have inside your project. For example, to the pipe one. So you can change immediately the second one just by same way. Just like this. If you don't need your uh, handrail, you can select them and just use the um, key delete and you can delete it. If you wanna go back, just use Ctrl Z to back your staircase. Let's say you need to have here the gap. You don't need here the railing. Let's say you have here the another level. So what you can do? Just select your handrail and after that go to the edit path. So just go to the edit path. You can see here the purple line. This is your path of the handrail. You can just select this line and delete. And it will be wrong because you have your uh, start here and finish here. And Revit not understand what is that line. If you will say OK, you will get the uh, error message. So you should delete that line and leave only one. You cannot have the separated line for the sketch mode. So you have only one solid line. Say OK and here you will get your handrail. But what we can do for the other side of our staircase? Actually pretty simple. Just go to the level O. Any level, so uh, just we need floor plans. Go to the railings, find here the sketch by path, and after that, draw the line. Draw, I am drawing line here and here. Done. Let's go to 3D, and you will see this is line exactly on this staircase. Say OK, and we get uh, our handrail doesn't have the host, host of our staircase. So you should select your railings. After that, go to the uh, modifier and you will find here the pick new host. Just let's use it and select on your staircase. And Revit automatically will find the host on your staircase for this railing. In situation when you already no need to use some custom railings, you can delete everything what you we did before and you can replace what uh, Revit automatically will create. Just go to the railing, find here the place on the stair ramp, use it, choose your which type of the railing you want, let's say you want a 900mm pipe one and select your stairs and automatically Revit will create the railings around your staircase. Automatical placement have two choices. If, for example, we will delete our railings again and we will go to the railings and we will use um, place on the stair, you will see here two different positions. For example, treats um, our uh, handrail will gonna be on the our risers, but the other one type it will be on the stringer. You can see here now on the stringer. So here are two different positions you can use by automatical replacement. Let's say you have own custom the staircase. So what you're gonna do for this situation? You have two way. You can use again automatical place on the stair or you can sketch by path. I highly recommend you if you can use use place on the stair on the stamp. Just place it and Revit automatically will find the boundary and will create your handrail for this staircase. Let's say you have the balcony. For this situation you will use the handrail but only sketch path. Let's use the sketch path and I will go to the level 1. 
And now I will just use the pick the line and I will pick all this line. You can use top key if you want. Now you can use the for example command align and align this line by this small dot. So let's go to 3D and we will check what we have. So if you will say OK, you will get your the handrail. You can modify your handrail, just select your handrail. And you will find here under the edit type the settings base offset so you can say like minus 50 millimeter and it will be go a bit down and you will find here offset from the path let's say minus or plus 150 millimeters and it will go around a bit inside so this is what we want and we will leave like that be careful with the tool pick host. If you will select your handrail and you will pick host, for example, for the other level, you will get problem like you see on this side. So to, for example, to copy it to the other level, you can just select your handrail. After that, go to the copy, uh, open the paste, and you will find here a line to selected levels. Let's use it and let's choose the level one, and you will copy it without any problem. Just be careful with the pick host. Pick host working perfectly only with the stairs. So now let's talk about some complicated thing. Let's say this is your end of the handrail, but you want to create something like you can see right now on your screen. So how you can do that? So for that one we should create a new family. So let's start. Let's create metric generic family. Let's go to the file new family and here you should find metric generic family if you are using the metric system, if you are using imperial, so imperial system metric generic model. So let's go inside and here we are. We don't need to do any, any special things, we will go just straight away to the back view and we will start work here. Now we will create two uh, support lines, so reference plane, let's use the reference plane 1 and reference plane 2. Let's call the first reference plane, like let's say 1, that's it. So no need any special things. Now you, let's use dimension, let's use dimension and we need the overall dimension from that side to that side and let's create the parameter for this dimension. It will call the size, size, rail. Okay, so and let's make it type 1, let's say okay, so now when, when we will change our size, it's changing also. Okay, awesome. So what we're gonna do now, let's go to the create and find here the sweep. Now we will use the sketch, sketch path and let's create our sketch like with three uh, dots, like this. Okay, so awesome. And I will use the command align to align this dot and lock it and to align this dot and lock it. I will say OK and I will uh, I will create now edit uh, profile. Let's go to the edit profile and let's use the our uh, floor plan or floor, floor plan let's use it. Okay so and here you should use the this one. Let's do like 40 millimeters and let's can do it variable too. Let's create the parameter for that one. Uh, it's called the radius. Let's say R. Let's say uh, where is this? Okay, let's say okay. Uh, let's go to 3D and let's say okay one more time. As you can see, we get something like that. Let's go to the back view and let's check it out. Is it working or no? So if we're changing this side, it's uh, changing too. So it's working. We can load now inside to the project. And now one main thing we should change the category of our profile. So let's go to the here to the properties. Uh, just open up it here, and we should find the railings, railings, and we should use the terminations. So let's use it and let's say okay. Now let's load inside to the our project. Here we are. Let's overwrite here now we're inside our project, and let's use our, our handrail. Go to the edit type. Find here top rail and you can see type uh, 40 millimeters and uh, circular. Let's open up it and you can see here terminations beginning and end nothing. Let's change it to the our family 2 and family 2. Let's say OK and you can see we get our family. But as you can see this is uh, really huge. We should change it so we cannot change it right here and we will change it inside our family. So that's why we should uh, making the right all our naming uh, more correctly than I have now. So to uh, understand which uh, type of we need, we, you will find here the 40 millimeters, right? So we should make the 40 millimeters too. Let's go inside of the family, let's go to the type 
and here inside you will find here the 40 millimeters it's called 20 millimeters radius let's say okay let's load it inside to the project again and let's overwrite everything and as you can see now it's uh, what we want actually we need a bit extent to extend our handrail, I mean the our curve on the end in on the top. So what we're gonna do? Just select your handrail, go to the edit type, go again to the uh, settings of the uh, top rail by type. Let's open up it, and you will find here extension beginning. Let's say 200 millimeters and extension and top. Let's say again 200 millimeters. Let's say okay. Let's say okay, and no, you will find now your extension with the, your curative handrail. So by this way, you now understand how to create the simple family of the, your mm, handrail and you understand how handrail working with star cases and flooring. In the next tutorial, we will go to more deep about the handrail and we will try to make more complicated family of the handrails. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store there you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house by this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time